Good morning, folks. It's been a relatively calm day on the sun. We've got the opposite in the tropics here and a number of other can't miss science stories. But we're starting at spacewethernews.com and we find that apart from the bright active region on the south, the central areas house patchy coronal hole signatures, none of them tremendously large or powerful. The previous coronal hole has delivered solar wind, currently streaming past Earth, slightly elevated from normal, with only the slightest of instability points for the magnetic field. Let's come to the tropical systems. First, it's Hannah in the Gulf, and she's going to take on Texas and Mexico today. Heavy downpours around Corpus Christi, rain bands follow on and spread eastward along the Gulf Coast. Of course, we're still watching Douglas out in the Pacific. Forecasts still have the absolute worst of it shifting north of the islands, but that can change. Eyes on it tonight and tomorrow for the final forecast. Quick little aesthetic shot of the Falkland Islands here. This false color radar image shows the wind-blown material, with the radar returned fiercely showing the rugged ridges and the mountains. Let's move on to lightning. They believe 100 million strikes occur in the tropics every year, and this study was meant to go find the trees struck by those bolts. Found quite a few of them. They can easily be picked out as the dead brown amidst the lush green, and interestingly, it's the step leader out of the clouds that fingers out and connects to a tree, then the return stroke earth discharge flash returns along that best pathway, and the tree is no more. Sticking with big booms, but this time, the ones made by stars. One of the rarest events in ANOVA has occurred, and they were staring right at it. A UV flash may signal the creation of phenomenal amounts of iron, and they say that our community favorite, the coronal choking from material accumulation mechanism, is their number one guess for the genesis of the explosion. Let's take a breather over at NGC 4848 before we get to another explosion. This galaxy shows off the wispy outer arms of the spiral very well. Now imagine the dust and gas and plasma CGM extends twice to three times this span. That's what cosmology is having trouble seeing. Up next, they are discovering that a class of meteors stands apart from the others, seemingly having come from a destroyed planet with a magnetic core. This is screaming at us through time, from cosmic history, that there was a tremendous shakeup in the solar system. The notions that a previous planet was destroyed in here have now been seriously bolstered. All they needed was for it to be big enough for the interior to melt, chemistry to be sorted, and you've got the now shattered magnetic core of a protoplanet scattered across our stellar neighborhood. And last but not least, we are coming to climate change prediction. They are looking at the North Atlantic and discussing how much it affects the weather over the coming years. And well, interestingly, not only can these features be forecasted years in advance using the sun, but given recent trends, we can forecast them much, much further ahead. But let's stick with this winter for now. We've seen the slowdown of the Gulf Stream, the increase in cosmic ray cloud cover, which is expected to continue. The ice melt up north is chilling that water even more and the Beaufort gyre isn't helping. The one to three year lagged solar minimum forcing will be in effect for another year or two. That's on the NAO. And we've got a La Nina slated right now for the remainder of the year. First winter prediction. Europe is about to get a repeat of 10 years ago, creeping closer by the month. We greatly appreciate your support. Folks, everything about the solar control on the ocean temp and the North Atlantic oscillation is in our textbook, along with how the sun works all the other aspects of the weather like lightning, tropical storms, also earthquakes, our health, technology, and it being the prime candidate to end our modern way of life. We've also got a few more damaged copies if you were hoping to get the book a bit cheaper. That's at otf.cells.com. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.